my name is Marianne and I'm a visual artist and creative coach from Singapore. My dream and my mission right now as an artist and as a coach is to bring and create 100 different dream tree murals with 100 different communities around the world as a symbol of our collective dreams and aspirations and a vision of making this world a better place. A little bit about myself, when I was 8 years old, I, I was discouraged from being an artist. I was told that artists don't make any money and basically I listened to the adults who said that and I totally forgot about my dream. And it took me about 20 years of meandering around and trying to figure out my direction in life before I reconnected with it again at the age of 28. And having not drawn anything, having not gone to art school, I felt like it was too late. But I worked with a coach for two months and created my first solo exhibition in that time, including painting 30 paintings from scratch, um, including finding a venue, you know, raising money for this exhibition, inviting people, figuring out this whole marketing and publicity thing. And somehow, you know, I managed to pull it off. I had like more than 200 people come to this exhibition over that week and 17 out of the 30 paintings were sold. And not only that, I received a contract to illustrate a series of three children's books. So literally overnight, my artist dream just like came true. And, um, you know, inspired by that whole experience, I realized that anything is possible. Like all our dreams are possible. You know, it's, it's just up to us to want to take action to make it come true. You know, but it's hard to take action sometimes because we tell ourselves that we're not good enough. We tell ourselves it's too late, or at least that's what I told myself. And, you know, people don't necessarily remember what their dreams are because over time they forget what that is. They think that it's not practical. They think that, you know, it's, it's, it's not real life and real life is something else altogether. But really, you know, how, how many of us actually really know what life is supposed to be about anyway, right? I mean, the best we can do is just live life the way we think it's supposed to be lived. Uh, but I want to change that, you know, I want to, I want to help people to reconnect to this dream again, to reconnect to who they are uniquely because every single dream that we have is a unique expression of who we are. That's what I believe at least. And I want people to connect to that again because by connecting to that, they can create a whole different life for themselves. They can create a life that really means something to them and it's not just following what everybody else is doing and following what everybody says life should be. And I think everyone deserves a chance to really connect to their dream and to really find what matters to them and to make something of it. So a dream tree is something that appeared in my artwork over the last six years of being a visual artist and being a painter. And it's essentially a bridge that connects the ground to the clouds. So it's not just about pursuing your dreams, but it's also that balance between having the practical structures to support the dream. But at the same time, you know, we need a dream, we need something to aspire to such that our life actually makes sense, that we're living towards something. So it's not about abandoning the practical for the dream or abandoning the dream for the practical, but about finding a way to have them both. So the idea evolved over time and by the time I went to uh, Riba Roja in Spain to do my first artist residency last year and I painted this dream tree mural that represented the village and their life and their surroundings and their traditions and their practices and customs there and I saw how people really engaged with this mural because it was them, it represented them, it represented you know my my experience of having been with them for that two weeks and creating something just for them. And I was very moved by that idea that, that I could actually do something like that and take it even a step further to get people to be involved in the process. My plan right now for Project 100 Dream Trees is to facilitate a workshop where people get to connect deeply with their dreams and what really matters to them for their life and the vision that they have for their life, whatever it may be and then they get to paint it out on a small panel and uh, it gets incorporated into a larger mural that is made especially, especially for them and they themselves had a hand in making it what it is as well and it is a symbol also of you know if you pursue your dream if every single one of us pursues our dreams like imagine what kind of beautiful world and a beautiful result we can create just by doing that so this is really what my project is about. 
about giving people a chance to connect to their dreams again, to connect to what really matters to them. And you know, if, if just one person were to take action on their dream as a result of their interaction with me, I mean, that in itself could change so much about the world. And, and that's something I, I truly believe in. And it's something that I want to fight for. And it's something that I've decided to make my life about to fight for people's dreams, to allow them to, to create something, to create a way for them to connect with it again and be inspired to take action and really do something that matters because at the end of the day, we just have this one life and it would be a waste to not live up to their full potential, to not live up to our full potential. So thank you so much for watching my video and finding out more about my project 100 Dream Trees. I'd like to end now with a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Well, I believe in a future where everyone pursues their dreams. I believe in a future where people live the life that they desire. And because of that, they create a lot of change. They make a lot of impact around the world. And it makes our entire world a better place. Thank you.